In this video, we are going to import a CSV file to Postgres using Synatic. First, we need to add our CSV file reader step. I'll search for it in the steps catalog and drop it onto the flow. The only thing we need to set here is the row delimiter. For our file, rows are delimited only with the carriage return, so we'll switch off the line feed and apply that. The other thing we can do is enable handy features like auto-convert values, which can detect numerics, text, and dates. We can also enforce that all rows have the same number of fields. And then the last thing to do is to trim out of white space. Let's save that. The next step is to add our SFTP source. We'll search and drop it onto the flow again. I'm using my DigitalOcean droplet as an SFTP server, so I'll select that. Now we can set the path of where to pick up our file. Now we can save that step. At this point, we can test to see if our flow connects and can read our file. We can click the test button here to see. We can see that it has found our file and converted the records from text to JSON. The next step now is to save our records to the database. I'll search for Postgres and drag it from the destinations onto the flow. We need to choose a connection and I'll choose my DigitalOcean hosted Postgres server. Now we can select the other options. We can set the table name that we want to import into. In our case, it's called policy imports, so let's type that in. Now we can set up the column mappings. In our case, it's pretty easy because our CSV columns are the same as our database columns. Let's type those in. We can also set the type of the data and we can add that. We can also go into a code mode so that we don't have to click around too much and we can just copy and paste in or type in more naturally as a programmer. There we go, our columns are set up. Let's save that step. We can execute this flow and create a run to see if it all works. We can see that 20 records have been successfully completed and if we go look inside our Postgres database, we can see that the records are now there. Our CSV file contents have now been processed and inserted into our database.